Hey everybody. Today we're replacing the Wi-Fi card on this Toshiba Satellite C855D laptop. The full model is C855D-S5104. The reason we're replacing the Wi-Fi card is because there is no Wi-Fi on this thing. And it's not an issue with a missing driver. You can go in Device Manager and you won't see any unknown devices. And if you look in Networking Devices, you only see the laptop's built-in Ethernet controller. And that's it. So I assume the Wi-Fi card may have actually died. It's not something I oftentimes see, but I figured you know we'd swap it out and see if that would get it running. Now I started my way into this thing. And I figured, hey, I'll just go ahead and put this on YouTube. So basically, what you need to do is remove the battery. There's a lock mechanism here. You just pop that to the right, and this hit the pull on because it's spring loaded and you just lift the battery out at the bottom of the machine like you know like this it doesn't slide out it lifts out and you just set it to the side one screw and this door lifts up and comes out so that's that and one thing that's caught my eye is we're missing a screw here and here Makes me wonder if somebody's been in this thing. So let's go ahead and take all the screws out the bottom of the machine and set them to the side. That last screw I just pulled is what removes, allows you to pull out the optical drive and it just slides out. So it's that. Put these in a the spot where I can easily get them. Get the screws. I'm going to take out the hard disk drive. When somebody says she, you've got to be very careful. One time in the past, I snapped the connector that goes to the hard drive. Not the one on the motherboard, but the actual hard drive itself. I had to replace the hard drive just because of that. That was a 40 something dollar mistake. So anyways, it slides out and you just lift up and out. Which, by the way, on that instance I just told you about, I was able to recover the person's data. The whole partition and everything. Anyways. Let's go ahead and take the screws out along this thing. And we got a screw right there, just FYI. And now this thing should start to pry apart. On these newer laptops, a lot of laptops are actually heading in this direction in regards to design. The bottom end of the laptop lifts off the unit itself, giving you full access to everything under it. And I like this design actually, to be honest with you. I think laptops really should have been this way all along. Okay, we got a spot here that's not wanting to give way, so I need to help it out with the screwdriver. Flathead. Don't want to break these pieces of plastic. It's a really thin piece of plastic and you just want to kind of help it help pop it loose with the screwdriver. To be gentle with it. And up it comes. And our Wi Fi card is right there. It's one of those piece of crap Wi Fi cards, too. <laughs> it only has one wire going to it. I mean, a piece of crap Wi-Fi card and a not-so-great computer doesn't surprise me. So, replacing the Wi-Fi card is relatively easy. And this is a very basic hen machine, too. I think it's, I think it's a, um, an AMD E350 system, you know. Same kind of processor APU that's in the um, 
little Windows Media Center set top box I built a while back. At least this machine is, you know, although Toshiba's are pieces of crap in my opinion, um, most of them, at least the newer ones, are relatively easy to service. And I do like that. I think most of the mini Wi-Fi cards that I have on hand, once you just, once you unscrew it, screw it, the thing just lifts up and you just pull it out. That's the Wi-Fi card. Now I'm not certain if this is actually messed up or not. But given the hit or miss quality of components that are put into Toshiba laptops these days, you never know. So let me go grab one, grab a replacement. Okay, now I have a replacement card. And it figures a while back I disassembled a um, HP Omni 120 all in one computer that had a Wi Fi card similar to this. You know, one that had just the one connector. I got rid of that card because I thought for sure I'd never come across a machine that was so basic in that it didn't have the two, two wire antenna design, as you can see here. Um, you see how that one has two hookups, one there and one there. Should work. I don't see why not. It's been things been in storage for a bit, so I'm gonna make sure these contacts are nice and clean. All right. This slider in. Let's press down gently. Well. Get a screwdriver ready. And this tighten the screw down. And this card you know, basically on laptops, most you know, most laptops you have a black wire and a white wire for your Wi-Fi. This one indicates one as black and two as white, so I'm going to connect this white cable to the two connector. Let's be gentle with it. We'll feel a little pop when it actually pops into place. And we'll go ahead and put the back cover back on this thing. You know the bottom cover, whatever you want to call it. Let's do it gently. Yes, this is definitely one of those really basic in AMD APU systems. The APU on this machine is one of those that you can replace. It's soldered to the board permanently. Not necessarily a bad thing. Those APUs are generally, from what I've observed, those are the most efficient APUs, the most power efficient APUs they put out very little heat so this laptop runs very cool this doesn't have a whole lot of power yeah, they, they do have decent graphics but not a lot of CPU power that's for sure okay everybody so what we'll be doing now is from here on out the process of putting this back together is really the reverse of taking it apart to slide the optical drive back in. Well, first, we need to resecure that one screw. Make sure we had this funny looking screw under there. So, basically, as I mentioned, it's reverse order. Just resecure your screws. You slide this back in till it actually. You'll feel the connector actually pop in and it's done. And the hard drive is really similar. There's actually, we can go ahead and put those two items back in because there's no screws under them. At least I've already secured one or the CD drive. So we just place it down and slide it in until it stops. 
and then you would just re-secure your screw there. So that's how you would swap out the Wi-Fi card in this particular machine. So I'm not exactly sure if that was the culprit um, causing the Wi-Fi on this to not even work at all. Now, as I mentioned, it wasn't even entry in device manager, so it was like the computer wasn't even seeing the Wi-Fi card. Honestly, I hope it was the Wi-Fi card and not the motherboard. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.